Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to head down and continue working on the new cabin's foundation. Hopefully be able to get uh, two of three beams installed so I'll almost be ready to start framing the floor. I was just out collecting all my game cameras and I stopped on my quad to trim back a few branches along the trail over by one of my cameras and all of a sudden, boom, a wasp stung me in the neck and then a whole cloud of wasps all of a sudden came and they were trying to sting me. They got caught. I was wearing a toque. They started stinging my toque. So I just like dropped everything and did the 100 meter dash through the field. Finally they left me alone and then I turned around and my quad was sitting idling right underneath a basketball sized wasp nest. I was in a pine tree that I was trimming the branches off of. So the one got me like right on my jugular here. Oh man. Oh. Good thing I'm not allergic or I'd probably be dead. So I'm going to head down to the new cabin down here and get to work on the foundation. So I've got this front beam, which is on the lowest side, leveled off. So these are the only uh, pillars with the concrete blocks that I'm having to pile or stack two blocks. All these other are just going to be a single block on top of the concrete pad. So these are all level. These first two of the middle beam are level. Now I just need to level this uh, one slab and concrete block to level it with these. So what I've been doing is I get it set in place where it's going to be. And then I use my big six foot level and then so obviously this is on level because this one needs down lower so I can just hold this up till it's level just to get an idea of how deep I'm gonna have to dig this one so if I see right here there's about a five inch gap so I'm gonna have to go down about five inches on this uh, concrete slab, dig it into the ground. And once I get it down to the depth that I need it, then I work on making sure the concrete slab, the two foot by two foot slab I'm using, I have to make sure it's level in both directions. So then the blocks will be sitting level. The way I've been doing it is I get it dug down to the depth that I need tamp the ground down nice and flat and as level as I can get it and then I use this uh, crushed stone to get it perfectly level so if I have to put a little layer under one side I put a little layer down and tamp it down and then lay the block on until and keep doing that until the slab is completely level. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig this uh, one slab down about five inches then I'll get it checked for level again and see how if I have to go down a little further if not then I'll work on leveling out the slab it's a slow go it's a lot of digging and it's difficult getting every single of these uh, piers level with each other all right I just got the sixth one in place so I'm ready to put one beam here and one beam here. And then all I have left to do is uh, put the concrete pads in and the concrete blocks, make the piers, and get that last beam in place. 
So it's actually working out better than I had expected. I was worried that it was going to be extremely difficult getting everything level. But I've been able to do it. It's just it's been a slow go. I have to dig a little bit and just keep checking to see if I've gone too far because I don't want to I don't want to go too far. I can use a little bit of the crushed stone if I do go like a 16th or an 8th too far. I can put a thin layer of crushed stone but I didn't want to put too thick of a layer to build it up because I didn't know if over time if it would settle or not. I'll bring you in and show you this last one I just did. So I, I level it since I only have a six foot level I level it as I go so this one goes in then I level this one off of the previous and then I move on to this one and this one gets leveled off of this and then you just got to remember as I go I have to keep throwing some pieces of wood between all of these and make sure they're all level to each other as well. Here's just to show. So that's that. Level to that. Which is level to this one. And these ones are all level. For this top beam, which is at the top of the slope is going to be dug down with the concrete pad sitting down there. So I'm gonna have to dig a, because the beam will hit this dirt, I'm gonna have to dig this out. Same with here. Uh, I've already started digging it out, but I gotta dig a, Panel here just for the beam so it doesn't I don't want it sitting or touching even the ground so I want to make sure to dig this out and also I'll be going underneath once the floor is framed I'll be going underneath and sheeting the underside of the floor so I'm gonna need room to slither underneath and shoot some sheets on so I'm probably gonna have to dig a little bit of this upper edge down just so there's room underneath. But so far I am pleased with the progress. I got a black bear right in here. Hey, stay! I was just riding up to the cabin to take a lunch. And hey, Sasa! I looked over and there's a big black bear standing right there. Sasa, stay here! Maybe 30 feet off to my right, he was just standing in there watching us. Watch for bear, Odin! You watch for bear! back down. Sasa. Okay, I'm back down at the new cabin build site. I am going to get this beam here, drug over and put up on these piers, get it in place and just look how it sits. So, I got to drag it from over where it's on the trailer. Gonna get it uh, hooked up to the quad and drag over here. I can't lift it, it's too heavy. It's four 16 foot 2 by 8s that are glued and nailed together. So it's just under, I think, like 200 pounds. 
I'm going to tie it to the back of my quad and see if I can't drag it and have, drag it right up on this side here, right beside these. And then I can lift one end at a time up onto these blocks. So that's the plan. I'm going to go hop on the quad and drag it over here. got to try and get it up on here one side at a time. I'll probably leave it on the quad and just lift this end and walk it up and over. I want to loosen this off so I can swivel it a bit if I need to. Oh yeah! So I'm going to have to adjust the position. I'm going to square the beams off. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to kind of lift at the middle and just shimmy it back and forth if I need to. It should be able to have a foot of overhang on each end. So I'm going to, it's not set right where it's going to sit but at least it's up on here now. It looks like I'm gonna to have to move it a few inches this way. It's level. So that's the first beam in place. It's a milestone. <laughs> Take a look what we got here. One thing I need to do still is it's never a good idea to put wood on top of concrete because the concrete will absorb water and it can start rotting out your wood. So I'm going to get some chunks of pressure treated either 2x8 or 2x6, probably a 2x8, and lay it flat on top so it'll lift the wood up an inch and a half but then it'll be a pressure treated break between this untreated wood and the concrete. So you never want untreated wood sitting directly on concrete. All right, I got the second beam in place. I still got to line it up with that other beam, but I got it here on the here. So now I just need to finished digging for this the third and last beam and then I can get the third beam over here and set in place then I can square everything off and then I'm ready to start laying floor joists <sighs> Good morning, another day up here at the cabin and it was a cold one this morning. It's, uh, I don't even know what temperature it is but it's probably got to be close to zero. There was frost on the windows this morning. So it looks like it's going to be a sunny day though so it'll warm up. I am going to head down to the new cabin site and get to work on the last beam digging the holes to put the concrete pads down and the concrete blocks 
down and getting them all level and then hauling the beam over and getting it set in place and that'll be the last beam on and I'll be ready to start framing the floor. I'm just gonna check on the solar. It's been running well and look what I got in here now. A little chest freezer which is just like I've just entered the 20th century with some refrigeration and being able to freeze some food so I went from this to that. Let's take a look here. So it's pulling just under 200 watts. The sun's not directly on the panels yet. Batteries are at 25.6. So that's drawing 77 watts right now. And I'm pulling in 200, so. I'm powering that and charging the batteries. So I just got down here at the new cabin site. The dogs smell like something's been here. And look it, something's been here digging around and move that concrete block. And over here, you can see something was messing around with these concrete blocks. And there is some right here, it looks like it was that bear or a bear. And it was just messing around with stuff. This is the problem with black bears, is they're mischievous. They just come and mess around and mess with stuff just because they're curious and although it didn't do any damage or anything, it's still going to be a pain if it comes back and moves around my beams once I've got them all squared. I might have to nail them to each other so I can't move it because it moved that beam and moved those blocks. Doesn't look like it did anything to this one. It's just another aspect of being way out in the middle of nowhere is you gotta deal with animals and they're curious as to what you're doing out here and what all this weird stuff is. Are you happy, pup? Are you happy? All right guys, so I'm here down working on this third and last beam. So I've got this hole dug out and the concrete pad in there. So I gotta just uh, level off the concrete pad a bit. So I'm gonna need to use some of that crushed stone that I had in the tote. Well, it looks like not only did the bear mess around with my beam here and with my blocks, it looks like the bear decided to steal the tote full of crushed stone because it is nowhere to be seen here. I know I left it right here. It was right here. 
last night when I left. So something came in the middle of the night and picked it up and drug it somewhere. So I'm gonna have to get on the quad and drive around and see where it took it. So I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll head into these trees and see if it didn't bring it in there. So I am going to have to take everything with me because I can't be wasting time searching for stuff that a bear steals. Hey dogs! I wish that the dogs knew what I needed. So this is a prime example of why everything takes longer to do out here. Not only is it hard work way out in the middle of nowhere working off grid, doing everything by hand, but you have to deal with bears coming and stealing from you. And how do I know it's a bear? Well, yesterday there was that bear a couple hundred feet from here when I left. And a bear is the only thing strong enough that could move my beams and those concrete blocks. And a bear is the only thing that would carry away a tote full of rocks. All right, look what I found. It's drag it. You can see its tracks right there. Right here. It came and took my tote in here. Here's where it dumped out my crushed stone. Here's where I was chewing on it. Oh, and there's some more teeth marks. Oh, here's some more. Punctured it. So that tote isn't waterproof anymore. I've got my two helpers with me. This one's a little hyper though. Where's the other helper? Where's Mr. Odin? I hear Mr. Odin somewhere. I think he's got a squirrel over here. Oh here, there he is. There's Odin. Doing what Odin likes to do best. Odin and Sasser are over there saying hi to the squirrel. I just finished that one pier there. We got the concrete pad down there leveled off. Now I gotta 
make this hole a little wider. It's not 24 by 24, so I'm going to dig that wider. And then I got to go grab my last two concrete slabs. I'm going to get them over here and get them in place and then level them off with this one. And then I'm ready for the third beam. Okay, I got the last one in and leveled off. a bit to get it level with this and all of these. So these are all level. I'm going to have to dig up some of this grass that's in between these uh, piers just because I need, I don't want the beam touching the ground anywhere, even the grass really. So I need to dig down this so the beam's got a few inches above the dirt and as well I need to make it a little easier on myself for when I sheet the underside of the floor. I'm only going to have maybe a foot so just enough to get a, a brad nail or some sort of staple gun underneath there. I'll, I can just lie under there, hold some sheets up and just staple them up. It doesn't have to be crazy with the staples or nails or whatever I use because I'm basically just doing it to keep my bat from falling out of the floor and also to try and keep the bugs and mice and rats out of nesting in the insulation. So I gotta get rid of just this maybe two inches of all this grass just so I have a little more room to slide underneath. Just a little more digging to go and I should be done. So if you guys like this video so far, make sure to hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure to click subscribe to follow along. It's kind of a late start to this cabin, but I'm going to get as much done as I can before the snow starts. And I've also got the other cabin up the hill that I'm just finishing off. So I'll be working all winter up in the cabin, up on the hill doing the interior fishing. So. Alright, I'm done digging for the day guys. I've got all the grass stripped away here. I'll probably have to dig it a little lower here just so I have a few more inches of room. But this is what it's stopping at today. I'm going to go drag the other beam over so at least I can get it sitting on these blocks and then I'm going to go get a game camera and set up a game camera to see, to watch this cabin site overnight and see if that bear comes back and see what it's going to do. Hi guys. So I'm down here at the new cabin build and I've got all three beams in place leveled off and I just got finished uh, lining them all up. I ran some strings just to make sure they were all starting at the same point. So this is what it looks like right now. This beam was by far the hardest. I had to dig quite a bit at each point where I was putting the concrete slabs. I had to dig them down because I didn't want to go more than too high on the low end. I know they say you can stack concrete blocks three high without a problem, but I didn't feel comfortable going more than too high and I am going to. I have three concrete blocks left over so I'm going to double them up on top. But I only wanted to do two high and then one high on all the other beams. So that meant I was going to have to dig the high side down quite a bit. 
but it's done now. The hard part's done. Framing will be a lot easier than doing the foundation. I've started hauling my 2x8 floor joists over. So that's the setup I use to haul them. It doesn't have to go far, only a couple, like 150 feet maybe. So let me know in the comment section if you see anything that I you think I did wrong or should change. I'm pretty confident that it's going to, this is going to be a stable enough foundation. So I don't think I have really anything to worry about, but it's good to get some other people's feedback. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and click subscribe if you haven't already.